It's a very significant disease indeed. As, uh, since I took this job at Morden, it's the one disease that everybody's asking me about. Uh, it's, it's caused a lot of difficulties across the whole spectrum of, of the industry and because it's, it's sometimes hidden from view uh, and it leads to other, thing, other problems, it is a very significant issue. Uh, and uh, some of the work that we're doing to bring out uh, ways of managing the disease has been uh, a game changer for some. Uh, we're some distance away yet from uh, vaccines and, and real solutions of that scientific nature, but to be able to manage the disease and the work that we've done within Borden to show how we can manage the disease has been very, very important for a whole range of the industry. Flocks that have OPA usually find out by having dead sheep, basically. Um, often lots with pneumonia, and then when they're treated with antibiotics, it just doesn't, well, they may be okay for a little while, and then they carry on going down and they, they get disease. So basically it's lots, lots of deaths from respiratory problems. Traditionally, um, diagnostic tests are based on looking for antibodies, and in this disease they don't make antibodies that work in the traditional tests. So we've tried lots of different things um, and eventually went back to this perhaps old-fashioned kind of test, but it's actually delivering something that the others have failed to deliver so far. When each sheep comes through, I raise the foreleg, find the junction between the heart and the lung, scan the lung surface at each rib space, and then turn the sheep around and do exactly the same on the other side. The tumours can be any size from, say, a sugar cube to half of the lung. So spotting advanced cases is relatively simple, detecting much earlier cases is more difficult, but comes with training and experience. Early detection allows the affected sheep to be culled, reducing transmission of the virus. The sheep can be sold for slaughter, and there's not the animal welfare concerns of advanced disease. So we can see the beating heart right up against the chest wall, about one inch or two centimetres from the top of the screen. We go up and we see the solid white line of the lung moving in time with her breathing. We go back one space between her ribs, back a further, further space, and we just see the continuous white line each time and now we're back to the beating heart right up against the chest wall. So this is on the right hand side of the sheep. We turn her around. And immediately we see the heart. We see it beating there quite nicely, pushed off the chest wall by a uniform gray area, which is about two to four centimetres deep. The scale is on the right-hand side of the screen. So we've got that appearance as one or two bright white areas in the tumour, which are just small airways. And here we can see the tumour extending for about five to six centimetres from the chest wall. So fully occupying the lung. And as we go backwards or towards her tail we see more of the tumour here. It's a more mottled appearance largely because of the airways. So that is a moderate uh, case of OPA. Well, we've been conscious of this uh, Lurgy for about 15 years. 
it got to the stage where I thought, well, I really need to be doing more about this. What can I do? And that's when we decided that we, we must take, do the scanning. Uh, we used to give things the benefit of the doubt, but not anymore. And if there's any doubt whatsoever, um, it, it's a way. Um, it's the only way to deal with it. No prisoners. This will be our third, maybe fourth year of scanning. And I think the first year we had mid-30s. We scanned the whole flock, we had mid-30s. The second year it was down to 17, third year 11. So you're, you're going the right way all the time. Um, and the idea obviously would be that within another few years of scanning that you would try and get that down, well down, to as low as you can. It gives you the peace of mind when you sell a sheep, <clears throat> whether it be a gimmer, a pedigree gimmer, or a, or a shearling top or a top lamb, it gives you peace of mind that it's been scanned once, twice, maybe three times. So it's not 100% going to live, it's, it's a sheep, but you, you've got more peace of mind that you've done what you can and all you can, so hopefully it'll, it'll do well for the next person. I don't think the industry has dealt with it at all. I think uh, there have been far too many people uh, ignorant, and there have also been uh, people who have buried their heads in the sand. It would not be possible without the Morden to achieve any di diagnostics for this. Uh, they have been a tremendous help, a, a great support to us, and I feel it's the very least I can do is to make a contribution in doing what I can to support their efforts. Over the years, we've had a number of farmers that have worked with this, some, some for many years, but in the past, it's always been anonymous because nobody wanted to own up to having the disease. And that may have been because we had no diagnostic and no treatment. So there was maybe no advantage to owning up to it. But um, during this project, we've had an increasing number of farmers with a lot of interest in it. In it. And we've had, um, there's about 14 farms that we've been working with over the past three or four years, going back regularly. And we really appreciate their input in um, bringing the sheep and providing the staff and so on so that we can get this test um, going, improving the test and showing how, how it works. It's not a, a definitive answer to the problem. The problem hasn't gone away. I think the message to sheep farmers about OPA in particular is to, is to work with us, understand where we are with the, the modern thinking on, on this disease in particular, uh, follow out the various management uh, techniques which we're pinpointing and, and identifying and, and uh, if, if farmers uh, follow the advice, then they're going to be in a better position. We're not going to solve this thing overnight, but none of us as farmers are in this for the short term. We're in it for the, for the long term gain, and Morden's the same. We will continue working hard on the disease to try and find uh, solutions which rely uh, more on dealing with the actual uh, causes of the disease rather than managing the disease once it's, it's there.